What is Android System Intelligence? If you're not paying for the product, you are the product. Either way, these services drain your battery down while siphoning your data onto Google servers. Can you disable every Google service? Google makes its money from data. And right now, its biggest money-making scheme revolves around the artificial intelligence technique known as machine learning. 1. Google Play Services and the Google Play Store. Many people don't even realize that their phone runs Google Play Services until it needs an update. It's essentially an app that works entirely in the background, providing the connection to Google that so many other apps need to properly function. If you want to disable Play Services, you must go to Settings, Apps and tap on Google Play Services. Then choose Disable from the top of the screen. Unfortunately, not all phones can disable Play Services. Can I limit Play Services? It's nearly impossible to use Google Play Services and completely avoid sharing personal data. On top of that, there are no configuration settings within Play Services that limit data sharing. Each one of Google's apps must be configured in order to reduce what data you share. 2. Google Now or the Google App The Google App is basically Google search for your phone, though Google has used it to do all sorts of other tasks too. Because of that, it really knows a lot about you. Can the Google App be uninstalled? On most devices, it cannot be uninstalled without root. However, it can be disabled. If you're not familiar with the technology, Google Now, revamped as Google Assistant in some newer versions of Android, is the service that creepily pops up information that you didn't know you needed. Part of its stalker-like ability to keep tabs on its users derives from the huge amount of information Google collects from its customers. However, aside from the obvious privacy concerns that Google now presents us, a single service that aggregates everything a massive corporation collected from its users, Google now can cause battery drain. 3. Google Maps Google Maps tracks its users' location histories even when they aren't using the Google Maps application. Can it be uninstalled? Most Android devices cannot uninstall Google Maps without root. However, you can disable it by navigating to Settings, Apps and selecting Google Maps. To turn off location histories, open the Google Maps app and tap on the menu icon three horizontal bars in the upper left side of the interface. Then, under Location Services, choose Google Location History. From now on, Google will no longer track your movements. How do I reduce Google Maps battery drain? Google Maps liberally uses GPS, for good reason, although it causes tremendous battery drain, particularly if you just open the app to look around. 4. Google Calendar If Google Maps tracking you wasn't creepy enough, Google Calendar knows exactly what you're doing and when. Can Google Calendar be uninstalled? Most users can't uninstall Google Calendar without root. Can I limit how much data it shares? You can limit the permissions requested by Google Calendar. Unfortunately, most of the permissions deal with the core functionality of Calendar. Once turned off, the app won't function as it normally behaves. I'm not aware of any other privacy feature, such as usage statistics, that users can disable. How do I reduce Google Calendar's battery drain? You can force Google Calendar to use manual syncing. To turn manual syncing on, navigate to Settings, Accounts. From the Accounts menu, choose Google, and tap on the account that you want to modify. Enable manual syncing by tapping on the slider to the right of calendar. 5. Google Photos. If you take a photos regularly, your Google Photos library might contain your face as well as the faces of your friends and family. Can Google Photos be uninstalled? No, but it can be disabled by going to Settings, Apps, Photos and choosing Disable. Can I limit how much data it shares? If you've enabled photo uploading, Google has already indexed, analyzed and possibly identified everyone's face that has shown up in your pictures, including strangers who blundered into a photograph. However, Google's data retention policies regarding your already uploaded photos remain ambiguous. How do I reduce Google Photos battery drain? You can configure the photo app to only upload pictures while plugged into a power source. You can also prevent it from uploading video and photos while over a cellular connection. Preventing photo uploads while on battery power or cellular data can provide serious battery improvement for shutterbugs. 6. Google Hangouts Google Hangouts may be less consuming leaning now that Allo and Duo are here, but many people still rely on it for making calls or using Google Voice. Can Hangouts be uninstalled? Can I limit how much data it shares? You can turn off the usage statistics collected by Google by opening the Hangouts app and tapping on the three horizontal bars and choosing Settings. From within the Settings menu, tap on the slider icon on Improve Hangouts. How do I reduce Hangouts battery drain? 
There aren't many ways to reduce Hangouts battery drain, other than to stop using the app. 7. Google Chrome. As the default web browser on most Android devices, Chrome knows all the websites you visit. Can Chrome be uninstalled? On most devices, you can't uninstall Google Chrome without root access. However, you can disable the app by navigating to Settings, Apps, Chrome and choosing Disable. Can I limit how much data it collects? And while Chrome does offer a battery saver mode, it sends the contents of images to Google servers. Software suggestions. How do you preserve your privacy and battery life? 